Hey guys, welcome to another episode in the big playthrough of Tomb Raider Remastered, second game, second level I think. Yes, first one was um, the Great Wall, I think, in China. Don't even remember what it's called. Yes, the Great Wall, and now we are in Venice. Um, trying to get our boat from the dock and honestly it's quite a confusing level so ah there's that guy that we should i took out that guy earlier at the ending of the previous episodes and what i noticed is that guys if you shoot them they actually drop items so here this guy has a key uh -huh. Um, anywho, I do have to get my bearings because I do want to go for the 100% and I am a little bit confused with which areas I already checked out and which not yet really is kind of confusing like for example where the hell was that hedge I don't see it from here. And also, this is just, I really like the level. It is totally different than the um, Egypt levels or the, the Greece levels with all kinds of rocky. Um, <laughs> rock cliffs and, and mountainous environments. This is much more different, but can still ah there is that um, that one it can still although it looks maybe more straightforward it can still um, hide all kinds of paths <gasps> Fuck me, it's so annoying. I'm pressing the jump button and she's just not jumping. Um, anywho, there can still be like secret areas and, and of course, in areas where you may not really expect them like on top of a building or something all right and i would really like to now make sure that at least from this side of town that i cleared it all out i do think i did No, get in it, Lara. Right, so this one is open. I don't know if we can get through there by boat. Or this was where there was... Um... Holy shit. There's a waterfall over there. Do we want to get down there already? I don't know. Um, it was not here. There was like one of those secret statues in a similar area. That's the only thing I don't like in this game is that this, the statues, the secrets, the 
collectibles, they are way oversaturated in the remastered version compared to a much more uh, nuanced... Here, this is what I mean, for example. This is how they you look normally. And I do have to say, this way you can hardly see them. I acknowledge that because it's so dark. Although I think if you put on... God damn it, what was the button? Like so. If you put on your uh, flare, you can actually see it uh, still only when you're really close by. So it's super easy to miss, but I like that better than this one, which really is like, it, it really sticks out like a sore thumb, if you ask me. It's, it's almost like... Comedic. Or comic, comical. I think I already picked this one up at the end of the previous episodes. Or maybe I didn't. Yes. I already was here, but I don't know when I saved or not, but I'm pretty sure I already checked out this area and took out that red. I'm not sure why now everything is still or again not picked up. It's really quite awkward actually. That's what I mean with now I really basically I don't know exactly what was in this safe where I already went and where I did not yet go so I basically have to recheck it all yeah, this is what I want didn't really put up much of a fight. Here, I'm pretty sure I already picked up this one. Uh -huh. I have no idea why this is not yet in the safe. Yeah, this did something with the water level to the left, I think. God damn it, Lara. Sorry guys. Right, is this a gate? Nope. Anything here? I don't really see it. Alright, that's really one of the things I really don't like in this uh, Tomb Raider 2. It's the roll sound. It is like... Way too mechanical. Like she's a robot. Really weird design. Let's see. Oh. Let's see what changed here. Ah, yes, there was like this. Um, I saw it earlier, this one. Right, 
is that then where our boat is? Or was that just the door over there? I have no clue. All right, over there we just go down again. Do we need that? Not really. And I really have no clue where we are actually. But I do know that in the previous episode there was a guy on a platform outside. <sighs> ah, there's another boat over there that we can take. I would like our boat and we have like a key as well from the boathouse yes boathouse key all right i think the enemy is over here there he is need to take out that bugger don't really have a clean way of doing it probably have to get in up close and personal What kind of weapons do we have? Not that much. I'm going with this one. All right, it took a bit of damage. Yeah, what can you do? Uh -huh. That's the only problem of this level I find, at least. It looks a little bit samey everywhere, so it's quite easy to get lost. Or to just overlook a certain kennel, because you think you already checked it out. Also like, for example, Getting back to where we started, where the, where the boat is. I have no idea where that is. All right, more guys over there. Do I want to take them out now? Yeah. One guy, we can do it. Right, we have some mines there. swim past that's probably where we have to exit the area by boat let's first try and take out that guy Screw 
through him. Oh my god, annoying. know what kind of clips that are. M16. Is this the boathouse? I don't think so. No. Here, for example, on top of there, or that balcony, wouldn't surprise me if there are items there. Not that I know how to get up there, but... Alright, can we steal somebody else's boat? Yes! Not sure how it works. to kick in. Super duper cool, the music, everything. Uh, but I would like to get back to the starting area and I have no clue where that is. Thank you. 
Wait. This is new. At least for me it is. Thanks. Secret area? Uh huh. Nice. Uh huh. And here we are, I think. This was the starting area. That's where we came in. Then where was our boat? It was somewhere around here, I thought. Ah, wait, we could go under. Ah, now we have the boathouse key, yes. But that um, secret area that we found, or that uh, statue, that does indicate how easy it is to overlook something. It was really luck that I found it. guy out over there but suddenly uh, in the corner of my eye I saw a guy standing so they resurrected and new weapons right uh -huh. nice Sounds a little bit underwhelming, if you ask me. I guess beggars can't be choosers. And over here, I would say, yeah, we checked it out, right? Pretty sure we did. Weird how you. I think we closed that hatch and then another one ah, here. I wanted to say weird that we cannot get back up there, but we can, like so. Yeah, I don't even need to check this out. I already did so, I'm pretty sure. Maybe just to be extra sure. Can we do a back jump? No, Lara, I'm talking about back jump. No, not really. Still not really sure what that sound is. Is it supposed to be a radio or some mice? All right, we went um, up there already. That is the alley. 
this is just the way <laughs> to get to the um, red sun screens. This was the way to the balcony to get the boat key. Yeah, so we pretty much checked it out. I would say let's take a little drive, a boat drive that is. Oh wait, did we already go here? I think we did, but yeah, I think that was the secret area. It's pretty dark in the uh, main game. It's pretty crazy. Right, do we want to? Waterfall, I wonder. Let's first check it out a little bit over here. Right, so we have a door over there. This was the boathouse. What about this door? again it will open up this one Get in the boat now when they're so parked so close to each other. This is what I mean. This could be a little bit tricky. All right, here we go. Oops. Okay, 
10 damage. Probably nothing there, but let's check it out anyways. I don't see much. Maybe it almost looked like a tunnel in the river bed, but no, it was not. Wouldn't surprise me if guys come out guns blazing. Yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> Super duper annoying, all these guys. Too many guys. What the hell did he drop? Another key. Uh -huh. Right, we found somewhere another keyhole. Where the hell was this? I don't remember. Um, steel key. Uh -huh. Ah, maybe here. But there was another keyhole somewhere, which I should not forget. Yeah, do I want to already take a medic back now? I wonder. What the hell is that? An uh, antenna? I'm afraid I will be. <sighs> A bit more health. We don't have a lot of bullets anymore. Annoying, all these guys everywhere. There's also not really a way to just get through these fights clean or tactical, so to say. Ah! Although that went pretty well. Uh -huh. Alright, so we opened up a door over there. There's another door over here. There are too many doors, goddammit. I think it will be very easy to overlook something.
And I also would like to not forget where was that other keel? There was one other keel somewhere. Don't forget there is a Ah there it is. There was the other keel. But there so there's also uh, I think a, a gate that can open up on top of that bridge. Ah now we opened up the second uh, metallic gate at the end, but the first one still needs to open. This was the uh, the sluice, or however you call that. Take him out. Let's go and take him out. I only don't really saw the the ramp that I wanted to go over. I really wonder how you can do... Um, ah, there's the ramp. I wonder how you can do a no-hit run in this game. Alright, nice. That one is open. But it's probably timed. This is probably a time section. And how do we open up this one? Man, this game so far, I really dig it. Yeah, the enemies are annoying, but the, the great wall level... bells the classical music it's it's really the locations like china venice just amazing right we probably ah now it's open how come it's open?
that was a stupid one. That cost me a lot of health. Do I want to start over? Man, even for such an old game, the sound is pretty um, analog and visceral of the um, the war the the web of the the big V8 in that. Uh, Little speedboat, pretty damn cool. All right, here we go. Pretty epic. It really has like this kind of James Bond vibe to me. Oh shit. cannot um, easily get back there holy shit <laughs> fucking hell motherfucker all right do we still have yeah i wanted to say bullets for that gun but yes we do Remember, some of these doors open up by themselves. knew where that was it all looks so incredibly similar god damn it Lara but, but I find the controls actually not too bad they're pretty intuitive lot of ammunition very nice and a door actually so how do we open that door or is this just uh, that's probably just uh, it's not an actual usable door it's probably just 
environment uh, building. Right, is there anything up onto those balconies? I don't see anything. Let's get to that door that opened up. I remember where it was. Here it is. Here we go. I hear a guy walking around. All right, we have another key. We know where it goes. Uh -huh. Holy shit. This is going to be a messy fight, I predict. <laughs> it went much easier than expected. But there are more dudes. I actually kind of mm -hmm. like this super rudimentary combat. It's better than the um, devilish creatures. Ah, this will get us back to that bridge, I'm sure. It's better than that um, Atlantis level in the main get in the main first game. Also, the fact that they drop items is pretty nice. <laughs> No, this is a different one. But who am I hearing? Somebody is walking around. There is a guy down below. And what is the purpose of these doors? I thought maybe we could shimmy along them and then find a secret area, but right, I find this a little bit disconcerting. Because, yeah, I would assume there's a there's a, a purpose to these doors. Maybe um, a secret area, but I don't see it. So you have like levers with doors, unless it is just pure environment building. But what was the reason just to come up here, just to take out this guy and get one medipack? I have no clue. This is a totally different area. I thought this was the same. No, this is the same area. I have no clue.
Will he see me? Probably he will shoot me off the... Uh, Ah, wait, that one is closed off now. Now I see the purpose of the doors. Ah, it was already closed off when we entered, now I remember. <coughs> All right, no more kidding around, here we go. Dropping something that I cannot reach because it's outside the level. I'm gonna double check that because I do want all the items and I don't want to not get all the items just because of a stupid glitch. Not, but better be sure than sorry. Better be safe than sorry. All right. So what did this do? We got a key. That is what it is. Where was that key all again? this level I was thinking it would be much more confusing and annoying but it's super fun <coughs> beautiful music than the first game. First game only had 32. I know, I started at 14. And then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we have 33 minus 14 is 19 plus 13 is 32 and yeah, that's the same I don't really see the benefit of that, those two being open. I'd much rather have those. Check out the, uh, the bell tower, it's pretty huge. Um, I would like to have these mines gone. What? 
does this do? Nothing. I wonder what this little bridge is over there. We could get on it through that red sunscreen. Now how do we get on the red sunscreen? Alright, that was the jump. Yeah, we want to get on that bridge, I guess. I'm not sure, but... Right, we're more or less stuck a little bit. That bridge, it could just be a nice bridge, environment building. Could also have a purpose, I don't know. Or do we need to take the boat? Jump up on it. Let's try it. No. Because that whole jump is lower than where we would end up. Here we go. Yeah, that really didn't, didn't do anything.
let's see if we disable this sluice. Or, yeah, move the water the other way around. Whether that opens up the doors outside. I don't remember whether I opened up that gate at the end. But I do now remember from literally 30 years ago or whatever, uh, 1997, so 27 years ago. I remember get being super stuck here. Here, there's a door over there. Unless it's just, I don't know, not a door, but just a graphic of a door, which would make sense. But it looks almost like something you can see through it a little bit. Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe it's just the boundary of the level. The clock is 12 o'clock and at one point it also rang the clock. Not sure if that signifies anything. I already oh shit. Yeah. Went over here to see if there's anything. To do, but I really don't see anything unless that is a ledge that we can use but yeah then there's nothing much over there so that's a dead end I want 
wonder what made the clock bell ring. Even if there was something that makes the clock bell ring and maybe open up that gate temporarily, then we still have to contend with those mines, I would say. Did the bell tower ring? from a certain action or was it just regardless of player fuck me This is taking too long.
God damn it! I'm as stuck as I was 27 years ago. Alright, this just goes to the waterfall, I think. Yes. just environment building or is there actually something behind it no idea First part of the level is just getting the boat and getting out of there. I would say double check for ammunition here maybe. Somehow, I think it has something to do with that church bell. But don't ask me why. <laughs> or maybe we can dismantle the mines ourselves. But, ah, wait, that's it probably. We have two boats. So we use one boat for the mines. just jump out of the boat while we uh, move it into the mines. Nice, that's it. And then we get the other boats. Where is the other one? I don't know. Where are the mines? There they are. I left it somewhere around here. Ah, there it is. But the door is still closed, goddammit.
pretty sure there is some lever that activates the church bell, then there the um, door will temporarily open probably. And then you have to race your boat through it. I'm sure it's something like that. But the question is, and that's maybe also why this one is open. This is a shortcut. So the question is... What triggers the door opening? be this button here. Yes, there we go. Nice. I found it. Happy with that? Fuck me! Why is she going off the side? That's a little bit of a bummer. Um, let me very quickly get my mobile phone to see also the kills and how many secrets, etc. there are in this level. One moment. to Venice and we have 24 kills we have all the kills items 19 or 23 plus automatic pistols three keys and three secrets wow this is so confusing 19 three keys and three secrets so then you will get to it says items 19 and then between bracket under items and number in parenthesis includes the reward for finding all three secrets all right so that were probably those um uh, clips that we got we got indeed four clips so it goes from 19 to 23 magazine clips as a reward 
So then you have 23 plus the automatic pistols, 24. We got those. We have three keys. I assume we have three keys. So then you go 24, 27 and three secrets. Then you get to 30. Yeah, so that's what its total is. Apparently, I'm just missing randomly two items. The good thing in this level is I think we can backtrack everywhere. But the bad thing is, I'm pretty certain we went through it quite thoroughly. So two items missed, where? Probably underwater somewhere, just randomly. So that could take a bit of uh, time to find, which I will probably be doing in between episodes. There's a second part of Venice actually. Wasn't aware. Yeah, so two items can be anywhere. That's pretty damn annoying. Two items. I know that at least to me it looked like there maybe were some wooden doors that open up and maybe have some items behind them but uh, I didn't really see a way to open them up so I'm afraid this really is going to be nothing but running around and trying to find something I mean can we make this jump no I don't think we can well maybe we can if we say that this is three squares technically we can far yeah but this is high up no we will never make it technically you can long jump three squares and i do think no it's not even three it's four that balcony that will never work we already checked out this area Pretty certain. Oh shit, maybe there was something on that ledge. I don't think so, but it did look like a ledge. That could maybe hold something. Probably nothing, but still. I was like, maybe over here, but no, there's nothing here. Yeah, this really is going to be a tricky one and an annoying one. One guy that didn't drop anything, which I found a little bit suspicious. Yeah, I 
some would find it a little bit annoying if it's just randomly somewhere in the water. Here, I think this is the guy that didn't drop anything. Turning on the classical graphics, sometimes easier to make out items. I think this was the guy, yeah, with the... get out from the top and is there anything on the roof over there nope here i'm also still a little bit curious about that door This one really looks like a door. It really has like, it's thicker than the wall. It's not just a door texture. No, we cannot make the jump from there all the way to there. Would that one also open up? With the um, with the timer. Got that guy's stuff.
futile. You down. God damn it, this is annoying. Two items. Me, Lara. <laughs> oh, fuck me. God damn it, man. I really went through it pretty damn thoroughly. It can be anywhere, little item. I did check all the bodies, right? Usually pretty damn thorough in, with this stuff. This is totally useless what I'm doing. I actually think it may be somewhere at the start of the level where I was, I went through there quite quickly, well, very quickly. If we can find anything, let's also quickly <laughs> double check here. Uh, nothing much there. God damn it.
wouldn't surprise me if there's still something here. It's hard to spot. Well, I already went through here again pretty damn thoroughly. Uh -huh. All right, one item. I'm an idiot that I forgot that one. One more item. So yeah, apparently I did f overlook some items. Yeah, what could be, actually, is that there is an item that I already, yeah, that could be it, that I actually already picked it up. But just like when we started it, this episode, there were some items, yeah, that's probably it. There are probably items that I already picked up, but that were not in the safe. Oh, holy shit, I almost went wrong there um, because at the start of this episode I also found some items what the fuck she should be able to make that one right fuck me this is taking way too much time getting back there um, there were some items in that sewer which like area where we just swam around with the flare with all those pillars there were some a magazine clip there and i think also some other items which i for sure already picked up in the previous episodes 
somehow they were uh, back in the level again. So that means that they were not in my last save. And it could very well be that the medic pack that we just picked up is the <coughs> same like that. That I already picked it up. Or maybe I overlooked it, I'm not sure. But it wouldn't surprise me if it's just a matter of a safe. Gone wrong. Or, uh, yeah, not saved. And then thinking stuff was in the safe while it actually wasn't. At least it's nice that we can backtrack everywhere. Uh, this guy only had a key. Fuck Lara. Uh, that was my mistake, by the way. Right, but if it is indeed a safe thing, then it's annoying because it's taking already a lot more time than it should have. But then at least there is a chance that it's <laughs> ready for pickup, so to say. Somewhere. And not in a totally <laughs> obscure area. it would then be somewhere i think at the start here yeah there's nothing there by the way no use even going there so yeah we pretty much checked out the starting area i would say Yes, uh -huh. yes. So that's probably it. Very nice. Um, I'm not 100 percent sure, but I'm pretty sure it's just a matter of that I assumed it was that I that I actually picked it up before. 
Uh, but that it just was not in the safe. Because I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty thorough with, um, or not thorough, if I kill an enemy, I'm actually happy to frisk him because I uh, can use his stuff, so to say. Uh, I, I, I mean, I can use any item that I can get, so it's not like I see it as a chore to pick up items from enemies. No, I think the chance is pretty good, pretty big. That I actually already... Uh uh, that I actually already picked it up before, but that it was indeed a safe issue. I'm not sure I could uh, you can I can look it up back on the uh, in the YouTube video but in the previous one Does it say I only take one hour 44 minutes? I have the feeling that it took way longer. All right, next Venice level, we will be checking that out in the next episodes. Just to be sure before that gate closes again. I had that in one other level that there was an item all at the start of the level. Make sure there's nothing here. No, I don't think there is, right? So that we don't need to do that in the next episode. All right, so far I found it really quite enjoyable level. I was expecting much more frustration, etc. And actually, the game does give you hints with that the two gates that opened up that you needed to be able to take the shortcuts to uh, be able to get through this last timed gate. Um, th those gates, they really didn't serve any purpose. So it, it must put you to thinking like, okay, what can the purpose then be? Would not be just a random, a little shortcut. And then also those uh, tower bells, and you had the clock tower above that gate, so the, the, there, there was, it was a bit abstract, but you, yeah, it's not that I'm the, the, the uh, Sherlock Holmes, not at all, but I, if I was able to figure that out, then um, yeah, and of course I did already do it like 27 years ago, but I really didn't remember it anymore. Um, but yeah, that, that, there were some clues to, uh, uh, get through the um, the riddle of this level, so to say, that, that timed gate. It was not even that much a riddle, actually. There was like a preview of the gate opening. So I'm making more of it than it actually was. But uh, anyways, um, I really enjoyed the level. And yeah, there will be maybe a Venice part two in the next episode. Uh, guys, hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you there. For the meantime, don't forget always to keep on gaming. Later.